Hello, and welcome to the continuation of our Let's Play as Australia. I'm going to go very greedy here, and I'm going to grab the Great Barrier Reef, and I'm going to see if I can do it. I've got a galley in range to help out with this. This barbarian camp could potentially snipe the settler, but I'm committed, because if I can get the Great Barrier Reef, I think the game changes significantly, because it's going to be a very big city. I'm going to be ex able to exert loyalty pressure in this area. I guess not too far away, but it'll be very tall, and... and this will also be a good front to our empire. We are going to have to start building walls and stuff to in order to protect all this this land because I am settling pretty aggressively here. What am I doing for tech? I don't think I ever decided. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for masonry. I don't need early apprenticeship. Early apprenticeship is good because it unlocks the ability to build the industrial zone, but also it makes every mine you've produced better. And I'm only made one mine. I'm going to build another one with my next builder. Let's go for a masonry. That'll allow me to build walls. And go ahead and put some time into that. And we'll get the Limes card to even uh, further reduce the time that it takes for that. I am thinking of this land as, as potentially mine as well. If there's any uh, islands over here, that are not just snow. Because snow is... Uh, I was about to say hot garbage, but I guess it's cold garbage. Okay, we're going to get into our territory and upgrade to an archer. Oh! How convenient. 60 gold, done. I guess I really should be... Um, Spending this gold a little bit more aggressively, but what can you do? I, I, I think I'd rather just save it up and, and maybe buy some things that will be useful for the city, like perhaps a monument, or just even buying the Great Barrier Reef tiles outright. There are horses and stuff to, to go ahead and grab some of this land. If I grabbed that, then I could actually do a culture bomb, and I could grab all of these tiles. So the special ability as Australia is that your pastures are culture bombs. Which is not a very good thing. Like, culture bombs are not fantastic, but... Like... I'm not going to complain about a little incremental advantage that they give me. So I got my archer. I'm going to come over here and clear out this barbarian camp before it gives me the chance to... Give me a real headache. And... <laughs> still waiting on this. I guess now that I think about it, I now... Ooh, there's a meteor shower. I wonder if I can come get that meteor shower with this builder. Uh, there's not any rush to. I don't really need that unit. The longer that I wait, the better the unit uh, I get. So let's go ahead and chop out another settler. I really feel bad about that government plaza. Because, I mean, I don't want to build it anywhere else. Like, not Brisbane. Uh, what am I doing? Tiles, tiles, tiles. Let's get a little more vision on the ocean here. Just make sure it's really safe to get that settler over there. I would say that this is a little bit of cheesy uh, play because the most difficult aspect of deity is uh, preventing early war and preventing yourself from getting too far behind in science. And so the fact that I'm playing on an archipelago map with no neighbors means that early war is not a possibility. And the fact that I'm playing House Australia means that I'm going to have plenty of science and I won't get too far behind. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna move towards this. What do I want for research and finished masonry? I guess we can go into currency and then uh, into apprenticeship. I mean, there's nothing else that really matters too much to us. And it's time to yoink a settler. They're getting expensive. They're getting expensive. So that, that settler hall is really feeling the, the absence of that settler hall. And there's political philosophy, which is great. I'm going to go for Classical Republic, 
Autocracy is good as well, but I don't really feel like I need two military cards. I need three economic cards. So we'll go for political philosophy. Or sorry, we'll go for classical republic. We're gonna grab urban planning, which will greatly increase the production in all cities. And I think I might go for production towards builders or reduce the cost of purchasing a tile. I am going to be purchasing some tiles pretty soon. Yeah, we'll go for land surveyors for a minute. I'm not going to be producing a whole lot of builders. I do want to connect this iron because that's worth a boost. And now that I think about it, maybe mon monumentality was not a great choice for the um, era score because I'm probably only going to get one or two era score off of that, whereas I, I probably could have gotten more boosts from the science one. If you don't know where to go on the, um, if you don't know which one to choose, just choose free inquiry. It's going to give you uh, the most boosts and it's going to give you default boosts, like boosts that you get from not changing your behavior at all. I think I'm going to go for uh, recorded history here because of the natural philosophy card. And I'm just going to automate the exploration here because I don't want to continue micromanaging so many galleys. Okay, so we'll settle right here. Actually create an escort formation for a minute here. And we'll get this one down. Oh, he's standing on a wildfire. Okay. At least he didn't die. Looks like there's not much land over here. Like, there is a harbor, I suppose. Like a plus three harbor, but then... What else is there? The plus four harbor, and then... No campus. Not worth it. I want to see if there's another island here. It looks like there is. I can kind of tell that this is sort of, it's a little tan, which implies that this is the edge of a of another island. Just gonna stay on alert here. Actually, I can, I can move him towards the city so he can heal faster in friendly territory. And move up, move up. We got a free recon unit. I guess that's good. Let's just automate your exploration. Don't care. Don't care about those decisions. I'm making other ones, I'm making more exciting ones. Okay, so he's shooting me. I got a promotion anytime I want, but I'm going to go ahead and um, hold off on that. Wait till I get a little lower in health. Okay, is it now time to... Yeah, let's go ahead and build the mine. Give some couple boosts. And I think it's time to finish out this campus before I get too far behind in science, or I could get the harbor. Let's get the campus. I think campus is better. Move here. That way you end your t turn in friendly territory. And if I'm not mistaken, I still can build a city right there because it's on a different island. Um, I guess that city is actually technically more important. We can always just go ahead and go settle that. We've got the island down, we're defending. I'll have my next settler go uh, settle the city that I've been working towards. Okay, a single tile. That's, a, that's gonna be a no for me. Tech tree. Let's go for apprenticeship. And let's see. What else are we working in here? I think we're already working all the good tiles. I mean, I guess I could get another uh, mine so I don't have to build this or work on this fissure, but I'd rather grow. In fact, it's actually a little annoying that I'm not growing. I think I'm going to come help Sydney a little bit. I think I'm done yoinking for a minute. I'll plop down the settler hall and then I'll maybe hard build a few settlers after the production for the city comes online. <laughs> There's no rule saying that I have to um, build. Actually, I'm going to come fortify on this tile. Maybe reduce the chances that Valetta picks it up. There's no rule saying that I have to go... Uh, oops, I forgot there's a cliff there, so I actually wasted a turn. 
No rules saying I have to build settlers in the settler hall city. At this point, maybe I should start thinking about audience chamber. So we're going to go ahead and found the city here. That's worth air score. And we're just going to go ahead and... Let's see, we've got land surveys. Let's go ahead and just buy this tile, this tile, and this tile. And then we'll just culture bomb. <laughs> Feeling good about that. And let's purchase a... Well, we already have the housing here. Let's purchase a monument. Because we know that we want the city to acquire some of these tiles. And I'm going to go ahead and plop a campus or harbor. Campus or harbor. It's only a plus two harbor. It's a plus three harbor if I come over here. I suppose that's just as good. But this is a safer harbor. I'm going to put down the campus first. And there's that gold that we bring a hole in my pocket. All gone. Stonehenge is gone, Temple of Artemis is gone, and uh, it's not actually unusual for Temple of Artemis to go. I'm gonna take a shot here and hope that Greece's scout can't pick up the camp or doesn't want to. I really don't care about the gold so much as I care about actually just getting these cities online. Getting this land settled, get a, getting some loyalty pressure over here so that I make sure that I'm the only one that can settle these cities. Okay, so drama, we're not going to get the boost, so we might as well just wait for to get the natural philosophy. And because we settled the city, it's actually within range of uh, that camp, so we actually got arrow score for that, which is good. Gonna just fortify here. Gonna use this settler to settle this city. We're gonna be able to exert loyalty pressure here, so so I'm not worried about anybody coming and sniping that land. Should I get my culture bomb here? will improve the production. Actually, it won't improve the production of the city, but I will be able to build a quarry here. Let's just do it. Oh, and that gives us our um, heavy chariot, which I might use to defend uh, the home territory a little bit more. I don't think I need any more military over here. I need boats over here to defend. Let's see. I'm gonna come see if there is another couple cities over here. Because, I mean, we're already over here, so being over here is not such a, a stretch once we get into being able to navigate coastal tiles, or uh, deep water tiles. He wants to buy my Diplo but he's not gonna pay the uh, the best price for it. We have chocolate somehow. I, I never actually improved that. Did I settle on chocolate somewhere? Oh, I, I did, didn't I? There was chocolate here, isn't there? Yeah, there's chocolate there. Okay, let's see if someone will actually buy that chocolate. Chocolate, four gold per turn. May I offer you some chocolate? Three gold per turn. May I offer you some chocolate? Eight gold per turn. Okay, she's gonna give me a good deal for that chocolate. Diplo favor, 13 gold. Diplo favor, seven gold. Okay, so actually let's just trade our Diplo favor one at a time. To get that 13 gold. Oh, I didn't mean to give a gift. Oh well. Yeah, this is kind of obnoxious. I wish they would just give you the best deal possible and uh, move on because they know we're going to do this. Like, there's no point in asking the AI for, for uh, Sorry, there's no there's no point in giving the AI a bulk discount because you know you're just going to be able to buy. I want to sell this city, yeah, and grab this campus. They know that we can click through one at a time, so why would they make us do that? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the AI to ask for like a bulk discount. If they wanted that to be the case, maybe they should limit the number of trades you can make to like one per ten turns or so. But I think that's just less fun. Like, why would you, why would you do that? And I just want to make sure that I can settle this. I can still settle that tile, yeah. What are we doing in here? I guess technically we need some fishing boats in here because we have the fishing boat tiles. So 
Let me go ahead and lock in the price of this harbor. It's a very good harbor. And then I will, oops, don't, don't keep the pin. And then I'll go ahead and start producing a builder. Which means we need the Ilkum card, especially because we're not producing settlers right now. We met another city-state, Kaguana. Create no quadri I don't think we're going to be doing that anytime soon. We can send an envoy somewhere. Where would be nice? For gold or production in the capital when producing districts? I like I like that. And their quest is only to send a trade route. We might as well just send our trade route to Singapore if we can. Are they in range? We don't know we don't know where they are, so we can't send them a trade route. You have to be able to um you have to know what am I trying to say? If it's surrounded by fog of war, your traders don't know where to go to get to the city, so I can't trade with them unless I actually get boots on the ground and uncover that, or I forget a strong enough relationship with Mongolia that he declares uh, friendship or an alliance, and then I see all what all of the stuff that he sees. So no trade route to Singapore, which means let's go ahead and just dump an envoy into Singapore, get a little bit of extra production in the capital. Might as well. Uh, okay, so he's a little mad that I've sent one envoy. Uh oh. For a second I thought that my game had crashed again. Yeah, it seems to be lagging a bit. Like, I tried to move two tiles at a time and it seemed to move one tile at a time. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, that, this island can actually support more cities than I thought. I could put like a city here, and then one here, and then maybe one here. No, I can't. I can't put more than two, but that's okay. I could still put two somewhere. How are we doing on time? I think that might be enough for this video. Uh, actually, no. It just seems like the time has passed uh, because a lot of things have happened. Ah, uh, his scout is blocking me. I'm just gonna spend a turn in the water, wait for his scout to move, and then we'll be good. I'm going to just see what else is over here. There's another city over here, actually. Uh, somewhere. That's like a plus four harbor. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and grab my garrison promotion. And I'm going to move him to Melbourne, because Melbourne is the city that we want to keep. That's the one that's like most dangerous, quote-unquote. I think maybe I bought too many tiles here. I just was expecting that I could go and get a pasture culture bomb, but... That doesn't make any sense. I think if we had gone for um, the right dedication, we would get a golden age by now, but it's okay. We want to swap colonization, colonization out because we are not currently colonizing. Let's go ahead and plug in Ilkum because we are building builders. I don't think we're actually buying any tiles right now. So I could just get conscription. Let's see, I'm losing five from units. It's worth a little bit of gold, and if we're not building settlers, although we, we will start building, yeah, let's keep colonization in. I still want to build a couple of settlers. Actually, my campus just finished, so let's see. Who's up in terms of great people? Euclid, have has Hypatia been recruited? Actually, Hypatia is not recruited yet, so we actually might get the chance to do a grab for her. Let's see. Who's rec recruiting them? An unmet player is getting 2.3 points per turn. We're getting 1.1 points per turn. So if Hypatia comes around, we can actually just buy her. But I think I might want to spend a little time getting the infrastructure, like a library. In case you didn't know, Hypatia increases the productivity of every library in your empire, and she instantly builds a library somewhere, both of which are very good. Might switch away from this harbor and finish this library just to make sure we have enough great person points for when Hypatia rolls around so we can grab her. If we can't... Um, if we can't get her, we can at least get Isaac Newton. If we get our science infrastructure online quick enough. It's a little greedy to do this. Like, we're not getting much benefit from the library. But I would be getting a lot more benefit from getting these cities online quicker. I'm going to go ahead and settle this. And I think I might um, actually make a settler or two in Melbourne. If it ever gets enough production. kind of like the idea of doing that. It needs more production for sure. Actually, Balarat might be the way to go because it's going to have a lot of food tiles once I get these fishing boats online. And then I'll have also a bunch of production in here too. 
So we want to go for an early uh, recorded history. And then after that, we want to go for feudalism because we want to get serfdom. Oh, gosh. I have this bug where I, uh, Steam is supposed to show up on a shift tab, but it seems to be showing up when I just press the shift key, which is annoying, to say the least. Spend a little more time on apprenticeship and then we'll boost or we'll switch away for the boost because it'll be so easy to build a mine somewhere. Let's see. And someone has built the Oracle. It's uh, okay for us. We're not really going for a um, great person game. Now we're actually on par with whoever's recruiting Euclid, so we might actually recruit Euclid. Or we might have the points to recruit Euclid, but we probably won't get him because we want Hypatia. I'm going to found this city and buy the tile that we need to buy. Oops, this is the wrong view. Purchase a tile. Purchase an item. Whew. In which I demonstrate that I have no control over my user interface whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and start... Uh, I'm at least going to lock in the price of the harbor here. I think I'm going to start a maybe a monument in here just to try and pick up a couple more of these tiles from Valletta. By the way, if you didn't know, city-states grow based on the number of envoys that you have. So looking at this, the number of envoys that Valletta has been sent is two. Oh, it's actually four. Huh. I think the... Maybe I'm wrong about that. I mean, it, I do know that it grows based on the number of envoys, the maximum number of envoys. Maybe he's Amani in here? No, Amani shows up. Okay, well, I'm wrong about that somehow. Uh, maybe the first envoys don't count or something, but anyway, it, it's based off the number of envoys, and maybe I'll have to look it up <laughs> in order to give you some better information. So, Just goes to show you, don't take my word for everything, because I don't know every way um, that this game goes. I don't know all the rules. You don't need to know all the rules in order to be effective at this game. You actually don't even need to optimize every decision to be effective at this game. You can seriously lose out on a lot. Oh wow, there's a bunch of galleys here. It's leading me to indicate that, or it's leading me to believe that he might be coming to war with me. So maybe it's time to grab Limes and build up some walls. And I'm going to move my archer back down here. Well, uh, I'm going to try and finish the libraries, and I'm going to go for walls. Just to make sure that I'm safe. Let's see what he does. If he moves more towards me, then I'll know it's war, and I should go and park some defensive units in these cities. We'll see. Where is he going? Yeah, he's going towards me. He's definitely... He's either exploring, and it just happens to look like this, or he's trying to get to me to go to war. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get these co the combat strength of these cities up as much as possible. Brisbane is the one I'm really worried about because it has three tiles it can be attacked from. Canberra is fine. Unless they have like ranged boats, um, they'll never take Canberra because they can only attack from one tile. Actually, with that in mind, I'm going to park the warrior, but as soon as the heavy chariot gets in, I'll move the heavy chariot to Brisbane because it has a higher combat strength, which will contribute to the city better. I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like these videos, please make sure to like every single one just to remember, or just to um, get the algorithm to think that these videos are high quality and people enjoy watching them. Uh, but you already know that. I'm not going to belabor the point too much. I will see you in the next one.